Now let's talk about how we can predict entropy changes for a given chemical reaction. In this video, we will identify changes in entropy for a given reaction based on the states of matter involved and the number of moles of a species, and the dissociation of a species. We will also define standard state entropy. Just a quick reminder before we go on. Change in entropy, like anything, is final minus initial. If entropy increases or has a positive change, the system becomes less ordered, more random. And this is a favorable process. It, that means it's more likely to be spontaneous. If the change is negative or entropy decreases, the system is more ordered or less random. This is a non-favorable process that is more likely to make it non-spontaneous. Let's quickly go over each change, and then we'll cover them in more detail on their own slides. Changes in state will change entropy. Solids are the most ordered, gases are the least ordered. If moles increase, entropy increases. Increases in temperature and solids that dissociate when dissolving also increase entropy. Now let's look at each one of those in a bit more detail. Because different states of matter have different number of macro states, the entropy of each is different. On the slides, I have the more formal description of this, but it should feel relatively intuitive based on your understanding of the states. So I'm gonna talk about this more conversationally. We know that solids have a crystal lattice. This is the most ordered state. Molecules are locked in position. In a liquid, the molecules are more random because they can move around each other. However, they are still stuck remaining in contact with each other. Now in a gas, they can fill the entire volume of the container, making it the highest entropy. Let's do some examples to make sure you have this concept down. For both of these cases, we are going to predict the sign of the entropy change. In the first one, we have water boiling. Pause and predict before continuing on with the video. It's going from a liquid to a gas. In other words, it's becoming more random, meaning that entropy must increase. Since entropy is increasing, the sign of the S is positive. Now do the next one before moving on. Here we have iodine going from a gas to a solid. Because it's going from a gas to a solid, it is going from the least ordered state to the most random state. Or it's becoming more ordered or less random. Whichever way you like to think about it is fine. This means that entropy decreases. Therefore, delta S will be negative. Another thing that can change entropy is the number of moles of a species. This too makes sense if we think about what is more random and can have more configurations. Something that is made up of 10 things or something that is made up of 20 things, we can think about to model this. We can use ba balanced chemical reactions to consider the number of moles of each species. Look at the reaction shown here. Initially, we have three moles of a species. This then combines to form only two moles of a species. This means that entropy decreases. Let's look at another example. This is magnesium chloride dissolving into water. It started as one mole and became three. This means that entropy increases, and this will happen for all of your dissociation problems. Let's do one more example. Take a moment, look at this, pay attention to the number of moles and the phases, and take a guess before moving on. In this case, we have two things happening. It is increasing in moles from one mole of reactant to two moles of product. And one of those changes state from a solid to a gas. But in both of these cases, it points to an increasing entropy, since both the state and the number of moles are pointing to increasing entropy. This means that overall, delta S is going to be positive. The last one's relatively quick to discuss, and we aren't going to do any examples. If you increase temperature, this generally leads to an increase in entropy, since more energy is being put into the system. This often even changing state into a less ordered state in some case. But regardless of whether you're changing state or staying within a state, increasing temperature increases entropy. Let's do a quick review.
changes in entropy can often be predicted based on simple changes, such as changes, changes in state or changes in the number of moles. This includes if solids are dissociating into ions. And finally, it changes based on temperature. Solids have the lowest entropy, then liquids, then gases. So as you change from a solid to a liquid to a gas, entropy increases, or vice versa. If you have more moles in the product, entropy will increase. If you have less moles in the product, entropy will decrease. And finally, if temperature is raised, entropy is increased.